Hello and welcome to the weekly wrap up. I'm Louise. This is Leon. Coming up in this week's show, we've got a first look at Fallout 4's Robo Making Automatron DLC. We find out what's going on in the ongoing Lindsay Lohan vs. GTA 5 court case. But first, PlayStation VR gets a price and a date, but should you get it? So, PlayStation VR is here. Well, October. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Uh, we have a date. October the 21st. Yeah, we have a price. Uh, £350 or $400. And we know what's in the box. Do you want to just do this bit? Yeah. So, £350 or $400 gets you the VR headset, processor unit, earbuds, HDMI and USB cables, power card, demo disc, which is quite exciting, and headset connection adapter. However, can you guess what's missing? Yep, the camera and the move. Those have to be bought separately, meaning you could be looking at maybe another £90 or $100. Now, it's obvious why Sony's done that, though. Everyone will have a different mix of bits. I already have the PS4 camera and move controllers, so I don't mind the price tag on this, says Leandro Lozano. While Jake Shepard says, I already own the camera and each move controller is only 30 bucks, so that's not too bad. Although Gar Cavanaugh is clearly one of the have-nots. No camera included, but it's necessary. That's some greedy bullshit. Kyle Harpster, however, drills right to the core of the problem though. Super new tech, but they put f***ing earbuds with it. Really, WTF? So, should you get PlayStation VR? Well, how much do you want virtual reality? If you even slightly do, then this is probably your best option. Even buying all the extra bits is still a couple of hundred dollars less than Oculus' 600 and a whole hell of a lot less than Vive's $800. Plus, you don't have to fuff around with new graphics cards and upgrades and wires and doing that thing with the USB where it goes in and it doesn't fit and then you flip it round and, and, and then no, you don't flip it forget, back. if you have thoughts on this or anything else in this week's show, you can get in touch via Twitter at shiny underscore demon. At Leon Hurley or even at Games Radar. Now, in other news, Fallout 4's Dogmeat has won the CW Network Video Game Dog of the Year. Who's a good boy? The deadline to get access to the Gears of War 4 beta by playing Gears of War Ultimate Edition has been extended to 10pm Pacific, April 1st. And Bloodborne is getting a card game based on its semi-randomised Chalice Dungeons designed by the creators of XCOM the board game. We don't normally get to cover courtroom drama or Hollywood news, so it's with popcorn-eating gif amounts of excitement that I can tell you that Lindsay Lohan's lawsuit against GTA 5's devs Rockstar is actually going ahead. All the way back in 2014, Lohan accused Rockstar of using her likeness for drug-addled starlet Lacey Jonas and a New York Supreme Court judge has ruled in her favour for the lawsuit to progress. Back in 2014, Rockstar dismissed the claims, saying that they were legally meritless and that Lohan was doing it for publicity. While that might not be wrong, Judge Joan Kennedy rejected all of Rockstar's arguments. However, if it was up to you, this case would be out of court faster than Lindsay's house arrest bracelet left her leg when the court order was over. Yep, a whopping 83% of you said that Lacey wasn't Lindsay and that Lohan is just being a mean girl. Goldplane on Games Radar says she should be happy that she's actually in something other than tabloids or rehab. Zing. Zach Cooper on Facebook says it won't get anywhere. Like most games, GTA 5 has one of those likeness to real people and places is purely coincidental things in it. On top of that, the franchise has established itself as a series that satirises and parodies modern culture and, by extension, cultural icons. Yep, sue us. You've got something on your nose. Hands up, who wants to build their own murder bot? Someone that isn't Leon? You? Yep, you. Well, good. Finally, we've got a good look at Fallout 4's first DLC, Automatron, which lets you build your own killer robot, and the options seem massive. The setup sees you trying to clear the wasteland of swarms of psychotic machines released by a new villain called a Mechanist. And where things get exciting is it looks like pretty much every robot to ever wander past a Fallout game is in there, so sentry bots, robo brains, protectotrons, and more. The creation aspect means you can mod and mix limbs, armor, abilities, and weapons, including a new lightning chain gun. But can you give it a heart? No. It's essentially a big metal pet that you can fashion however you want, right down to the paint schemes and the voices, and it gets as weird as you can see here. We don't know yet whether you can create a God Made Me Wrong style tin abomination, but pretty much any disturbing combination of arms, legs, heads and bodies can be bolted together. And some of you have already clearly gone mad with power. I'm just hoping I can hook a mini nuke launcher up somewhere on the beast, says Sam, which I'd like to point out is a terrible idea. Jason Silverman does raise a good point though when he says, I wonder if you need the robotics expert perk to build decent robots. Now on a slight aside, if you've ever wanted to see a Fallout movie, the idea's not entirely impossible. Yep, Bethesda boss man Todd Howard has said he's been pitched ideas before, but nothing's won him over. However, he also says he hasn't ruled it out yet. Hmm, Fallout on the big screen. Mm. Interesting. Well, that looks like it for this week. See you again. Bye-bye.